greetings, and welcome. Today, our attention will be on the famed investor Warren Buffett's most recent remarks. Buffett has asserted that there is zero chance of losing money on a deposit made to a U.S. bank. The attention of people all across the world has been drawn to this declaration. What then are the motivations behind these remarks? Why are bank savings regarded as one of the safest investment options? Let's explore these subjects in greater detail and look at Warren Buffett's remarks. During the 2008 financial crisis, Warren Buffett helped to rebuild public trust in institutions. On Wednesday, he provided some fresh assurances on the unrest that engulfed local banks in March. Everyone does not need to be panicked about the sector, and nobody is going to lose money on a deposit in a U.S. bank, according to the billionaire who controls Berkshire Hathaway, BRK, in an interview with CNBC. The statement, it won't happen. These were the Oracle of Omaha's first statements to the public in the month following the seizure of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank by federal regulators as a result of deposit runs at both institutions. The second and third largest collapses in American history spread fear that other lenders would be equally vulnerable. Regulators, particularly the FDIC, brought about stability by promising to safeguard depositors and increase liquidity for local bankers. The FDIC has promised to cover even uninsured depositors at Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. The FDIC guarantees depositors up to $250,000 per account. Buffett emphasized that banks pay the costs of the FDIC fund used to protect depositors, not the government. The federal government has never paid a cent for banks. The general population is unaware of that. Buffett batted down any similarity to the 2008 financial crisis, pointing out that certain banks in this instance mismanaged their assets and liabilities. In this time, some of the stupid things that banks occasionally do have come to light, according to Buffett. However, they haven't made the same kinds of errors that they did in 2008. He also cautioned that banks might lose the public's confidence in them in a matter of seconds and that things might actually get worse. Bank failures are not over. Buffett has acted as the bank savior in previous financial crises. He was approached by Goldman Sachs Group, GS, for funding in his endorsement during the financial crisis of 2008. Five billion dollars was invested in Goldman by Buffett. Then, in 2011, while Brian Moynihan was still a relatively inexperienced CEO and the lender's shares were under pressure owing to losses from subprime loans, he invested an additional $5 billion into Bank of America, BAC. He continues to own a sizable stake in Bank of America. Buffett also recommended to Hank Paulson, the Treasury Secretary at the time, that the federal government should fund banks with capital to stabilize the sector. Even though some of the major banks said they didn't need the money, that formal request of $250 billion was eventually accepted. According to Reuters, Buffett spoke with the Biden administration about the banks last month. At the time, it was unknown exactly what the conversations covered. This was our interpretation of Warren Buffett's most recent remarks. Buffett stated that there are many reasons why bank deposits are among the safest investing possibilities. Savings account holders have little chance of losing their money because banks are insured and supported by the U.S. government. Deposit accounts are the safest sanctuary for investors, as stated by Buffett in his speeches to savers worldwide. We sincerely hope this video was useful to you. Keep an eye on us, please.